Beneath the notorious Campi Flegri in Italy, scientists have just made an incredible discovery. A weak spot deep underground is casting the likelihood of an eruption in an entirely new light. While researchers are still analyzing this groundbreaking discovery, new earthquakes are already causing damage, even as far as Pompeii. Stay tuned to find out what's lurking down there and why these findings are so important. A warm welcome to you all. I'm currently spending a few months in Sicily, and just a few days ago I managed to capture an eruption of Mount Etna live in a photo. The Campi Flegri are, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, quite a distance from me, but whether they're near or far, I'll keep you updated on all the activities of Italy's volcanoes. If you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe now. Subscribing is free, you'll never miss an important research result again, and you'll be helping me immensely. And if you're already subscribed, a thumbs up for this video would also be greatly appreciated. Grazie mille ragazzi! Now imagine drilling a 3 km deep hole through one of the most dangerous volcanic regions in Europe. What you find will completely change your understanding of how supervolcanoes work. That's exactly what Italian researchers have just done. The Campi Flegre, or Flegrean fields, are a veritable powder keg. This supervolcanic region west of Naples is home to over half a million people and is also one of the most unpredictable geological time bombs in the world. The last major eruption may have been almost 500 years ago, but the Earth here simply refuses to settle down. Now, scientists from the National Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology, or NGV for short, have made a discovery that changes everything. In a study published in the journal AGU Advances, they describe a surprising weak spot beneath the surface of the Campi Flegri. And this discovery could finally explain why this supervolcano is so temperamental. What did the researchers find? At a depth of 3 to 4 kilometers, they came across a zone with completely unexpected properties. Using high-resolution 3D imaging and analysis of rock samples from a 3-kilometer deep borehole, they were able to locate an extremely fragile layer. Lucia Papalardo, lead author of the study, explains, We have identified an important transition at a depth of about 2.5 to 2.7 kilometers, where a weakening of the crustal layers can be observed. Below this threshold, the crust appears more porous and permeable than expected, and therefore less resistant, which favors the accumulation of magmatic fluids. And that's super exciting! Imagine the Earth's crust is like a multi-layered cake, and suddenly, instead of a layer of thick frosting, you find something that is much softer and more porous than it should be. That's exactly what the scientists have discovered here. This weak spot also has a very practical significance. The inhabitants of the region are all too familiar with the phenomenon of Bradyseism. This is a slow rise or fall in the ground that is typical of the Phlegraean fields, and the newly discovered zone finally provides a scientific explanation for this phenomenon. According to the researchers, magmatic fluids accumulate in this porous layer. Papalardo explains further, these trapped fluids gradually increase in volume and pressure, triggering ground deformation and seismic activity. That explains quite a lot. These findings are particularly explosive when you consider that the Campi Flegri have been responsible for devastating eruptions in their history, including the largest explosive eruption in the entire Mediterranean region in the last 200,000 years. But what does this reveal about current activity and the possibility of a major eruption in the near future? But it gets even more exciting. The study also points to possible scenarios for future volcanic activity. Gianmarco Buono from the research team warns that this weakened layer not only acts as a trap for deep magmatic fluids, but could also cause magma to rise in the future. The scientists have observed that smaller amounts of magma tend to accumulate at the boundary between the rigid substrate and the layers above it, where they cool down. The researchers refer to this process as an aborted eruption, however rapidly accumulating magma may not cool sufficiently and continue to rise after a period of stagnation similar to the last major eruption in 1538. While scientists are still trying to understand the significance of their discovery, the Campi Flegre is already making headlines again. There was recently a new swarm of earthquakes in the region, and a 3.2 magnitude quake may have even caused damage as far away as Pompeii. A wall is reported to have collapsed in the famous excavation site of Pompeii. Ironically, it was in a building that had already been damaged in the severe earthquake of 1980 and had been shored up since then. Fortunately, at the time, no one was nearby and no valuable frescoes were destroyed. Interestingly, Pompeii is about 30 kilometers away from the Campi Flegri, 
which shows just how far-reaching the effects of seismic activity in the region can be. The authorities are currently investigating whether the earthquake was actually the cause of the collapse or if other factors played a role. In recent days, there have been more than 70 tremors in the region, six of which had magnitudes above 2.0. And they are mostly concentrated to the east of the Solfatara near Picciarelli, precisely in the area that researchers have identified as particularly active. But there is also some good news for the local people. The city of Naples has provided financial aid for earthquake victims. From September, affected residents can apply for grants for repairs and seismic renovations. A total of 50 million euros will be available until 2027. Meanwhile, the INGV itself is looking for a new headquarters to monitor the Campi Flegri. I spoke about this on site in Naples with the INGV volcanologist Fabio Sanzavero. Take a look at what he has to say. I heard that you're looking for a new location for the modern observatory. Why is that necessary? Yes, that's right. We are looking for a new location. We have been in Pozzuoli for 23 years now, which is located right in the red zone of the Phlegraean fields, which must be evacuated in case of an emergency. This makes it an extremely unfavorable location for a volcano institute. And in an emergency, we would simply be unable to operate. We therefore need a location outside the red zone, outside the Phlegraean fields, so that we can continue working in the event of an eruption and monitor the volcanic areas as effectively as possible. But things are sometimes complicated. We are a large number of researchers. We need offices and monitoring rooms. We have laboratory areas. And not all buildings in the region meet the requirements for a volcano institute, especially when they are historic buildings that are subject to certain restrictions. Yes, so everything is in upheaval in Naples, tectonically, scientifically, and politically. The discovery of this weak spot is, in any case, an important step forward for the monitoring of the Campi Flegri, which is considered the most closely observed volcano in Europe. Mauro Antonio Di Vito, director of the Vesuvius Observatory, emphasizes, This research has no direct impact on our short-term predictions, but it is fundamental to understanding the behavior of the volcano and improving our ability to monitor it. So what makes this discovery so significant overall? First, we now have a better understanding of why the Campi Flegrei is so unpredictable. The weak spot in the Earth's crust acts as a kind of pressure valve, sometimes withstanding the pressure, sometimes giving way. This explains the alternating phases of calm and unrest in the region. Second, this finding could help identify similar weak spots in other volcanic regions, because if we understand how such structures form and function, we may be able to better predict when and where volcanoes could erupt. The new study also shows how important it is to re-examine old samples and data. Because the rock samples that led to the discovery had been stored in a warehouse for years before they were analyzed using the most modern methods. This really is an important wake-up call, as there could still be many secrets lying dormant in our archives. And especially through the use of AI tools, real treasures often lie hidden in such old datasets. For the future, the researchers are planning further investigations to deepen their findings. They want to understand whether similar weak points also exist in other areas of the Campi Flegri and how these could affect volcanic activity. Of course, I'll keep you updated on all further developments at the Campi Flegri, I promise. So make sure to subscribe now so you don't miss anything, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And speaking of geological hazards, in my new video, we'll be looking at a completely different kind of threat, the Hochfogel in the Orgau Alps. This two and a half thousand meter high mountain is on the verge of a spectacular collapse, which could threaten entire valleys. Researchers are already monitoring, down to the millimeter, how the summit is breaking apart piece by piece. And of course, this brings back memories of the disaster in Switzerland, where a rock slide almost completely destroyed the village of Platten. You can find out everything about the danger in the Alps from the collapse of the Hochfogel in the video shown at the top right. Be sure to click on it, it's really fascinating. As always, you'll find another video about science and space at the bottom right. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.